It's time to recreate the student experience. Technology has a role to play, but it has to go hand in hand with new policies and an institution-wide culture of care. Educause's showcase on inclusive student success offers three lessons. Let's explore them, learn how to act on them, and put them in context. Those who have worked the hardest to get into college are the same people who've been hardest hit by the pandemic. Educause's student study this year showed that more than a third of respondents struggled to find an internet connection that met their academic needs. Location matters. More students in rural areas struggled a lot more than students in suburbs, cities, and towns. And according to a report from the Midwestern Higher Education Compact, Black and Hispanic students and those from lower income households reported significantly more difficulty with internet and hardware access after the pandemic struck. But having enough bandwidth isn't the whole story. Students also need a device with enough processing power and memory. 28% of students in our study said they'd had device issues that interfered with their schoolwork in the previous week. So what should we do? Institutions need to provision students in need. They also need to partner. IT and instructors, librarians, administrators, they should all partner internally to deliver an online experience and to update academic and financial policies so they work for all students. Institutions should partner externally with communities to expand strong Wi-Fi access and broadband. And finally, institutions should advocate with solution providers and with governance to help students in need. Let's move on to lesson two. Even early in the pandemic, a survey by Active Minds reported that 80% of college students said the pandemic had worsened their mental health. And the New Horizon report calls mental health issues one of this year's major social trends. So what should we do? We need to scaffold an expanded culture of care with technology. The culture of care and belonging needs to be widespread and include anyone with insight into which students might be at risk for mental health concerns and how to help them. Technology and analytics can help by finding the kinds of behavior that are associated with mental health problems. Technology can also provide tools to help. Educause's Seven Things About Mental Health article reports that institutions are using technology tools to help students recognize mental health issues, make personalized self-care plans, and learn where to look for help. And of course, institutions need to account for privacy and ethical considerations throughout this work. And on to lesson three. Institutions are using technology to re-engineer almost every facet of their work. Higher education's use of artificial intelligence is particularly noteworthy. The New Horizon report has identified AI as one of this year's five technologies most likely to shape the future of teaching and learning. According to the report, AI has advanced to self-supervised learning. This means that AI systems can learn simply by watching videos. Lots of areas and systems are using AI today. We also see a lot more use of technologies to support student success. 72% of respondents to a recent quick poll said their institutions have increased their investment in student success technologies. And the work is just getting started, with five student success technology areas expected to see increased investment at many institutions over the next 12 months. So, what should we do? Higher education is going hybrid to create the best blend of digital and real-world experiences and offerings. Service learning is a great example of going hybrid. Service learning is a teaching methodology that enables students to apply classroom knowledge and skills to meaningful service in the community. In April's Educause Review, Lance Eaton and Danielle Leake say that digital service learning can extend service learning to new situations and circumstances. They describe three continuums to consider in designing digital service learning opportunities, leveraging technology, digital literacy, and permeability. And so, we've learned three lessons from Educause's Student Success Showcase. Where do we go from here? The 2021 IT Issues Report suggests three scenarios for higher education. Let's apply them to student success. Each scenario offers a different path for action. The Restore Path for Student Success brings students back to campus and provides expanded Wi-Fi and device loaners to bolster campus-based connectivity. Work on mental health and student success technologies may be paused or even rolled back in favor of in-person support and services. 
evolving from where the pandemic has left us, might address the digital divide through internal and external partnerships. Technology investments in mental health and student success might focus on process automation and cost savings. Institutions committed to transforming learning and helping lead the way for higher education will advocate for policies and investments to enable universal, affordable internet access, take the lead in engineering bias out of AI, and to paraphrase the Horizon Report's transformation scenario, recreate higher education entirely to enable anyone, anywhere to learn wherever they can, however they can. <laughs>